up. Uh, how do I sound? I still haven't worked on my um, other headset, but <clears throat> I guess let me just introduce um, the match. So this match just took place around six hours ago or so. Uh, hold on. All right, there. I should be bumped up now. All right, so this match. Uh, maybe I'm bumped up a little too much. All right, so this match started or happened around six hours ago. I figured most of us would be sleeping. Uh, I was actually up, <laughs> kind of random. Like I was up when it started, but then I'm like, eh, I gotta like get out of bed. Like I was just up, you know. Then it's like I gotta roll out, and then I gotta. I don't know, but anyway, introducing the players. So these guys are both from the same arcade, right? They both play a versus, and um, they're former teammates. So they've teamed up before at XS. And they are also, you know, very strong in, in this match. So Viper, obviously, you know, one of the best Hawks around. Really good execution. Got all the OSs down, but he, he's also a heart player. I'd say like he'll he'll go for stuff unnecessarily. I mean that's, that's what you do when you play uh, X Hawk, right? You want to land those uh, double typhoons. And then Choshu, I mean he's like it's weird when we talk about mid and low tiers, right? Like why do people even play them? But Choshu, very very strong Ken. Um, I'd say. Like most Kens, right? Like most top Kens, we say, oh, they play with no fear, right? So you got mods and juice kicking everywhere, and, and you know, you have like Anigan just throwing out heli DPs. I think Choshu's no fear response is uh, he will tick throw you. Like, he will tick throw grapplers. You know, he will do like jump light kick into B bash on, on Hawk, who's already looking for 720. So, yo, what's up, Triple F? So I remember I was watching Viper play and he was in the middle of a block string. Like it must have been, it was one of those block strings that have a bunch of jabs or a bunch of shorts. So it was, let's say it was Zangief. Zangief was just splash into a bunch of jabs. In between every hit, he was throwing in the 360 and like hitting the punches. And so that's when I realized it. Like, damn, you should be able to, I guess, throw out DP slash Typhoon slash whatever reversal in between every normal in the event that the block string is messed up or they go for the tick throw you get it but like i'm in if i only showed the hands it would look like it would look like he was just spamming but it was like real it was real stuff it was real talk yo um if i had to make a prediction so i have not yet seen this match also what's up uh doskui if i had to predict make a prediction i'd say i'd say 10 8 10 8 in favor of any of them Maybe even 10-9. Like, I, I'd say 10-8. I don't know. I just feel like one person is going to have the edge over the other. Um, as far as where this matchup is on paper. And again, you guys can let me know if, if my audio sounds bad when I'm talking. But um, apart from this, this uh, the matchup chart, I think it's like almost even. Maybe Hawk slide advantage, maybe Ken. I really don't know. Like, I would have to ask. Uh, I guess next time around, what I'll do is I'll ask the two players what they think the matchup is. But knowing knowing them, I think that they would be like, oh, it's probably even. So, like, Viper would say it's probably even, but I think Hawk wins. And then Choshu would probably say, I think it's even, but I think Ken wins. And the reason why is, like, the characters that are mains that are, like, really good at certain matchups... They, they will favor and tip the scale, you know, towards them. Like, it's different here, right? I mean, in the U.S., we'll be like, oh, yeah, it's 5-5, five, five, but, like, my character loses. I, I feel like that's kind of the, the mindset where I was like, oh, yeah, my character loses. My character is not that strong. But here, they'll be like, it's probably even, but, you know, Viper will be, it's probably even, but Hawk was, like, 6-4. Does uh, Ken have any uh, good matchups? I gotta look at the, uh, I gotta look at the character. Anytime people ask me, oh, like, you know, well, what's your matchup <laughs> chart look like? I'm like, I gotta look at a character select screen. But 
you know, you've heard it here many, many times. I think the matchup chart for ST for the most part is not super relevant because like anyone can just win. And when I say anyone can win, it's different from the other games where anyone can win because those games, like just the way that the mechanics are allowing anyone to win. Like here, I don't know, it's more like spirit, mind and body type deal where you know, unless it's like a very lopsided matchup, you have a chance. So seven, so anything up to a seven three is still like very winnable. Once you get past the seven three mark, then it's like, all right, let's start talking about the tier list and you know things of that sort. So, but anyway, enough of that introduction. I'm glad this match finally happened, and uh, now I have to find what what scene I have it on. I don't remember where I have it. This one here there boxer needs all his tools um yeah i guess let's just get right into it let me know if i should put up the game audio yeah it's like if your character is if you're good with your character the matchup chart doesn't matter you're just gonna say like you know your character is good what's this hold on it's like hella ads Whatever. But yeah, let me know if you need me to turn up the game audio or the commentary from their end. You already got Choshu winning round one. I'm just kidding. These are like button checks. <laughs> yeah, Viper is like, I'm going to power up and wear my... Uh, he was rocking his... Uh, is uh, Terminators. They're uh, Nikes. But they were uh, white and snake skin. Um, and then <laughs> he's like, Yeah, I'm going to rock my monster stuff and drink a monster. I don't know. This is weird. You know, when you get into a tournament, everyone has their own thing. So for me, it used to be I'm going to do, before the tournament, I'm going to do 50 push ups and then, you know, just have Dr. Pepper between every round. So I guess this thing was, yeah, I gotta, I gotta dress fresh. Oh, and then, oh shoot, I forgot to mention. So Yoshio and Yakutori were the guest commentators for this. I don't think I've ever heard Yakutori commentate. So, this will be interesting. Not that I'll be able to understand much of what they're saying, but Yoshio, obviously, like, very good commentator. Yeah, this is blocked out there, chat, so our, our chat will be up there. Um, is there a, a reason to use crouching MP in a block string or as an ender? Uh, are you talking boxer versus hawk? Because boxer hawk you, is just the one block string that you should do, which is jump around house, low strong, low rush, or jump your slow strong, low rush. And then hawk. Yeah, I guess sometimes you'll see hawk do like, oh, um, and if anyone wants to set up predictions, I'm looking at you base because you always do our predictions, but. Um, yeah, Hawk, normally you'll see something like cross up into low strong into 720. Like, sometimes you'll see that and, and like, that's fine. Alright, so it looks like Nikaiten is doing a quick button check for them now. And I think that was Kusa on, on P. I got you. Predictions. Start prediction. Alright. I'll give it, what, 10 minutes? 10 minutes. I think 10 8 either or. Th this kind of match is too hard to call. Like, 
I'll just say 10-8. Doesn't matter who wins, we all win. Like, I don't think, I don't think the gap will be more than three games. Like, I don't think it'll be 10-7 or 10-6. Like, it's going to be 10-8 or 10-9. Also, we're gonna get a slow stage, so that's pretty interesting. Unless, unless, uh, try to get to England. <laughs> oh, yeah, Loraldo with the Viper lore. Viper uses uh, T Hawk and then Choshu uses Ken. So Choshu will be P2. Hitting low forward DP, that's kind of a hard combo to do with, with him because of all the funky kicks. And then Viper. Yeah, but this. this... Come on, dude. Are you serious? Were you recently injured in a car accident? No, I wasn't. Thank you. Like, come on, son. If I was recently injured in a car accident, would it be streaming? I wouldn't be on YouTube. Well, maybe I would be. All right, this looks like the final button check. And you can see, you can see the Hajiki screw input there from Viper. He's just practicing it. So if you see, it almost looks like you're doing a backhand on someone. So if you're, if he's doing it from P1 side and you're next to him, you better watch your face because you might get smacked. Seeing that first hand, I was like, no way are you actually inputting, you know, your typhoons like that. Yeah, that was the first time I saw that. Yeah, the, the reason why this match is really interesting is because um, Ken can actually dragon punch the, the Hawk jab, right? So Hawk has to faint by doing fake meaty. So he might do like very early jabs or out of range jabs to try to bait the TP. Choshu's reversal is obviously really good. So it's more of an awareness of are, is Hawk going to bait me this time or are they actually going to try to go in? It's much different from Ryu. Sick four hit combo. さて、じゃあ、ボタンチェックは最後終了しましたということで、いよいよ始めていきましょう。始めていきますよ。there goes the Hajiki spin on the character select screen as well. You got to make sure you got those down. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Condor dive not working out. Nice guard. I told you, no fear, right? Like, he will actually knee bash grapplers. That's the Choshu tech. You don't really see that from the other Kens. This is unique. Oh, here we go. Oh, and a missed DP on wake up. But Viper still not able to punish. All right, nice. And this is a slower stage, so maybe... Oh, nice DP. Condor Dive might get punished a bit harder on, on the slower stage. A bit more reactable. Viper's just looking for one knockdown at this point. That's what he would need. Yeah, that's what he's looking for there. Round one, going to Choshu. Good stuff. A lot of, a lot of strange back and forth already in this first round. That back jab there, really good for beating out uh, low forward, so... It does no damage. It does like a pixel of damage, but it's just to kind of keep you in check. So you'll see Viper use back jab to beat low forward. Nice sweep. Yep, beat the jump back. So he used too far to go for that neutral jab spin and predicted a back jump. Stan Roundhouse covered him. Here we go. Is it going to be deep enough? Nice guard. And again, even though he has 720 ready. Yeah, you can't knee bash me forever. 
That's the Choshu special, though. Ah, oh, what an ugly trade. That slow fireball, pretty good. But damage in favor of Viper. Yeah, DP, cross up, Tatsu. Yeah, cross up, Tatsu. Pretty difficult for Hawk to deal with as well. And let me know if you guys want the game audio bumped up. Nice. All right, here we go. Oh, Fierce. Yep, I called it because I just know Viper too well. <laughs> nice dragon. So that low Fierce is because he was way outside of range to go for the neutral jab. And so he predicted that uh, Choshu would try to sweep it or low forward and low Fierce will beat it out. All right, game one, Choshu. And right there, he's using those back jabs and jabs just to kind of keep him grounded and, and hope for an opportunity where he can be in range and finally get the sand jab spin. Sorry for my crappy mic, by the way. Oh, sand jab. Nice. Yeah, just got the roundhouse out. All right, here we go. What's DP? Yeah, any, <laughs> any Viper was going to try to hit the DP. It was a good call. Because uh, Choshu has been pressing buttons on wake up, and so it could have been a clean um, punish on a crouching medium kick. He needs like a low forward and a roundhouse. Ah man, Choshu's patience is so good. Want, once he's in that that uh, you know that that kill spot, he just goes for a low forward for the win. Stops throwing fireballs completely. Nice condor dive. Oh, what a dragon punch! Another condor dive. Another Shoryu. Doesn't do a lot of damage like when you hit with the outside of the Dragon Punch. So it's it's worth Hawk going for a Condor Dive because you get a mix up and then you get that kind of a setup right there. Next base. Nice. But he's going to be too far for anything. Whoa! Natsumaki. Yeah, here we go. Let's get a 720. Oh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> we haven't seen one yet. It's only game two, though. Oh! Nice punish on Condor Dive. What? Just raw Tatsu. Wow. Good call out on the sweep. So, uh, one of the mix-ups in this matchup is Hawks jumping, right? So Hawk does regular jump in, like yeah, you can drag him on sweep. But if he does a condor dive and it's still in front of your face and you happen to sweep, condor dive will beat the sweep. And if he tries to aim for the back of the neck, he can stuff or trade dragon punch. So jump in is just stuff to you know pay attention to. All right, let's see. Are we gonna get a dragon here? No. Tried. If he got hit with the jab, he definitely tried. Now that was a hawk round, but you need to be able to get that like 20 times if you want to win a first to 10. You need 20 of those rounds. Now there are players with great reactions and will try to contest every condor dive, but you don't have to. Like right there, if you see just blocking it, not the end of the world, right? So sometimes you can't afford to block it, but right now Viper just only using condor dive he got three in a row and maybe now viper uh are realizing that oh and that was far i wanted to see his hands on that one as i mentioned before the set viper is always spinning He's always spinning. He's probably spinning right now. What is it? 2, 3 in the morning there? He's just, you know, probably in bed just like spinning, just rolling. Can't believe how amazing the set was and just constantly just thinking about it. Bro, what are these stupid ads? It's frustrating. Hold on. I don't even know, like... <laughs> it's super annoying. <laughs> I never had to deal with that before. I guess you don't get the ads when it's live. 
Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm not sharing with you guys. <laughs> Alright, again, another D bash. I like that block string. Jump, jump short, low forward. That's it! Oh, it's not it. He didn't have meter yet. If he had meter, it would have been it. A little strong. And right there, you saw that back jab. Wow, what a throw. So after he did that low strong, you saw that back jab. That was a bait. He was trying to bait like the dragon punch so he can punish it. That was, that was, that's the definition of like a fake meaty or fake setup. 720 mash is known as mayonnaise in Spain. What? I gotta know the lore on that. I could trade. No jump there from Choshu. So now the problem with Stand Roundhouse as a button from from regular Hawk is um. Oh, well, let's see what happens here. Got him. Oh no! You were just practicing that side. Are we gonna get our first two game deficit here? Or sorry, well, our second two game deficit because it was 2-0 before. So um, yeah. Now the problem with Stand Roundhouse is uh. Unlike old hawks, old hawks stand around now is hits crouching. New hawks does not. So if you do wake up low forward, and hawk happens to press uh, stand roundhouse, your low forward will win, and you know with with most of the characters. So that stand roundhouse is not really to guess that you're gonna low. It's guess it's a guess that you're gonna jump back. So it's a preemptive anti air for um for hawk. Nice. See if we get those walk up low condor dives on crouching medium kick because that's what Choshu's doing a lot. But Choshu's also been trading with, with fireball on condor dives, so this is weird spacing that I'm not very familiar with. Again, the knee bass just chip out. Oh no, he needed it. And it didn't kill. Back jab for the wind or low forward, like you don't need it. Oh, that was nice. Jump back jab. Yeah, Choshu definitely missing that uh, chip repa there. Nice. I don't know. This matchup looks kind of hard for Hawk. Oh, I tried to whiff punish there. Nice. Like, the thing is, all this time, nice whiff punish on the stand around house. All this time, we haven't even seen Hawk land a normal grab or a cross up. Like, all, the whole game that Viper has played, he's played from the front. That's a nice punish there on uh it's a good awareness. Good awareness. Uh, that's like the third time he threw a whiff condor dive. So you could tell these guys are very familiar with one another. Alright, here we go. Ah the back jab not stuffing that low forward. And I know that these guys also practiced this matchup quite a bit. Bro, I don't know what language that is. Get out of here. Oops. Broke it. Stop breaking it. Alright. I'm surprised these Tatsus are getting him out of trouble here. I don't know if it's like... Where Viper's not going for the Typhoon. Oh, Sam medium kick. Wake up. Yeah, uh, maybe base. Just needs one more of those. A any trade. Even on a fireball, you could trade. Oh, and he tried. He tried to preemptively beat it, but Choshu with the surprise, sure you. And now this is actually okay for Choshu again. He's still got the corner, although the clock's running out. Gotta snap back to reality. 
Ah, timer scam. Whoa, wake up low jab. Nice. This time that meaty fireball. Oh. Yeah, you saw how he tried to walk out of the grab range there. That T Hawk low strong doesn't really put you in the best position all the time. There goes the trade on the dragon. Nice sweep. And oh, not ready to enter the back jump. And again, nice swift punish. Jump jab on the condor. Ah. Alright, that's two to four now. So so far, it's Choshu winning two games, losing one, two games, losing one. Yeah, I'm liking this uh the whiff punish. The almost preemptive whiff punishes on uh Sand Roundhouse. You should definitely for your character find the button that like if if you're playing a hawk where the sand roundhouse is decent find the button that's supposed to beat it even if it's preemptive so for dictator it's stand fierce or stand jab even for shoto's it's stand strong find the button for your character yeah this is weird because hawk doesn't really get to do like crazy setups on ken not like ryu i mean to be quite honest, I think I think the Shoto match isn't as clear cut as people think it is with Hawk. Oh, here we go, big read there, but it, yeah, I jab show you. Yeah, like the 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 matchups are not, you know, clear cut. Like I think Hawk loses terribly against Ryu. Everyone's like, oh, but he has all these OSs, and nah, Hawk Hawk is just not a very strong character. And in this matchup, he loses more of that. I mean, the plus side is that uh, Ken's fireball is not great. So it gives Hawk an ability to... Nice, negative edge. It gives Hawk the ability to... <laughs> oh, nice OS there. Yeah, Yakitori explaining the tech right now. He goes, yeah, that was nice. He did the you know, negative edge and then positive low jab at the DP buffer. That's the Inomata attack. The Inomata was a first hawk. I feel like I've seen do that. Oh, missed knee bash. A little bit of a scramble city right there. Nice. Ah, it's alright. That was like the first random fireball he got hit with. Oh! Stole that one. What a read. And that was max distance on that Typhoon. That was super far. I don't know. I Now I'm starting to... Oh my goodness. Are you crazy? Like... Hold on. I gotta let this ad run out, so... Oh, no I don't. But now I gotta find what scene I have this on. Okay, I think we're good. These ads are starting to add up. Wow, what is that? Air to air condor dive? Got him. With the fierce typhoon. Nice. Well, the Hawk crouching medium punch is in response to the Tatsu. Oh, nice, I assure you. And a deep cross. What a guard there from Viper. That was... Oh, that was ambiguous. And nice hiccup from Now, if he wanted to Fierce Dragon, that could have been a stun. That's a chip. Oh. oh no, Viper brings us back. Nice. Yeah, so um so if if Choshu confirms it to the Fierce Shore you, it'll, it'll do the four hits total. So jump medium kick, low strong fierce. But sometimes Fierce Shore you doesn't hit you know two times, you only get the one hit. 
but it'll pretty much be a stun. Goes Mivash, jump short. Yep. <laughs> Chochu special. <laughs> I wouldn't give that same advice to other Ken players in, in the matchup. I wouldn't say, hey, knee bash and then follow up with a jump light kick. Like, you have to, you know, you, you got to be on some crazy world class level to be able to keep pulling that off. Oh! All right, I know what that was. He, he tried to do a wake up crouching light kick to low profile to jump in and then tick it to 720, but he ended up uh, getting stand light kick into 720. I feel like if we listened to the commentary, Yakutori would have explained the same thing. It was, it was meant to be a, a crouching light kick, but yeah, I forgot about that. Crouching light, crouching light kick is pretty good on low profiling stuff. Nice. That wasn't even a punish. She just ended up clipping a low forward afterwards. That's it. Ah, uh, he went for it. This time he wanted to stand short 720. Hey, at least at least he went for the 720 with fear, so he still got the big two hit, you know, damage. If, if he went for 720 with jab, that would have been a huge missed opportunity. Another one. Yo, Choshu. All right, here we go. This time the front Tatsu not working out. And how the score become 4-4? Something must have happened throughout all those ads. Oh! And yeah, jab short. You're very nice. That's the other thing. Point blank DP in this matchup. We're not point blank, but like that near point blank range. Those DPs tend to trade, so it's not really something that Viper is going for anyhow on a read of a Dragon Punch. Nice. So I'm seeing in the front. Yeah, jump medium kick from Ken. Very ambiguous. Oh, I, I you know what? That Finally, the first cross up in the set. Yeah, so before that, if, if I had to rewind it back, which I guess we can. Normally I wouldn't do this, but I just want to explain here. And you can look at Viper's hands. That first, right there, that first jab was his first spin. And then he went for a walk-up 720. He definitely went for it. If you look at his hands, look at his hands. You'll see the first spin and then the second. So that fierce dragon punch was just a miss 720. But he ended up getting it anyway. I just want you guys to know that this Dragon Punch wasn't a read. This was actually a misinput. So, supposed to be walk up 720. One, two. And that's what Yakutori is explaining right now. The Aroite double, a walking double. But with the Hajiki, sometimes you get the uppercut, whatever. And... But it was fortunate that he got the fierce uppercut because it, it, that was what gave him the cross up afterwards. And Viper takes a lead in the set off of that, just capitalizing on a misinput. <laughs> Nice anti-air. Oh, and another Hajiki screw. Bro, I need to see the hands on that again. Oh my gosh, I'm so alone right now. Hold on. Yeah, Viper feeling himself right now. Viper is hella feeling himself. Oh! It's a Typhoon. Got to grab. Did I assure you? Yeah, that third low jab is not working out. Oh! Get him! Yeah, he still went for a 720. He's still trying to do one with low jab 720. And now it's 6-4. Yo, Viper won five in a row. 
Yeah, that's the unfortunate part about Ken's medium dragon punches. It doesn't knock down unless it's point blank and you get both hits. Or obviously if it's an anti-air. But if you get like the far, that far medium sure you and it, you know, it doesn't knock down. Put yourself in a rough spot. The recovery on it's still pretty good though, so it's hard to punish. Don't get me wrong, but like. Anyway, six four. I guess it's a six four matchup, fellas. If you can win five in a row, Hawk wins a six four. Top Swan. There goes a triple low jab. I don't know why he's going for that though. It's a little. Oh oh oh. What? Yo, he did low strong on a jump years. Got a two piece out of that. Chimonji. At least Condor Dive is like. It's, sometimes this is jumping that builds meter. Oh, stop trying to knee bash me. My man is always on the churn. <laughs> Viper. Alright, another Hajiki. Ah. Didn't get to punish on the Tatsumaki. Yeah, Viper. But Viper's just been on a on a streak right now, so Choshu needs to turn this around and make it a 6-5 if he can. Got a little bit of a life lead. Nice trade. Yeah, good patience there, and it paid off. That's, that's actually a checkmate. There's nothing that will get neither of the Hawks out. The, the Repa is just very strong when it comes to closing out rounds. And now we're at a 6-5. Oh, this is close to stun. Nice crouch fierce to cover himself, though. Realizing that the cross-up was not deep enough. Yeah, Crouch Fierce is like the, if you know yo-yo tricks, it's like the round the world yo-yo. It kind of just really covers covers your back. And S-Hawks even more so. Alright, more IUGs happening here. Choshu throwing way less fireballs than before. There it goes. Oh, not ready to punish the Condor Dive. Tatsumaki. And the fake meaty there with that back jab. But still, Choshu was safe. And Viper sparingly going to use the Condor Dive now. Doesn't really... Oh, went for another 720, but... <laughs> He's missing the walking double typhoons, but he's still at least getting the screw. I mean, that's good. Maybe he's spinning like a little too fast. A little too raff. Yeah, Choshu's pumping. Don't know what he's looking for now. Uh oh. That was the first attack. Oh, that was the first attack at 43 seconds or whatever. These guys are blocking right now. Ah. Oh no! Overhead kick. Nice. Good anti-air again. Yeah. The clock the clock worked out for Choshu. Super slow down the match there. Got a couple good anti-airs and that was enough. Didn't didn't provide enough time to get caught by any typhoons or double typhoons. And I wanna know who's in Viper's corner. Who's giving him advice? Got him. Got him. Yep. And now it's going to give him cross-up setup. Got it. Uh-huh. 
That, so that is the max punish that you want. You want um against Shoto's low short fear uppercut. Got him. Now don't do that against Giles um su uh, somersault because you only get one hit on Giles um with that fear uppercut if you buffer from like a stand jab or low short and you don't get the knockdown. But against Shoto stand short low short whatever into uppercut, you get the max damage and you get the cross up setup leading to a stun. So really important to to know your punish like don't punish those with like jab uppercut always make sure that you're using fierce uppercut pretty intense set nice oh and choshu's still playing super gutsy you can see that it's a call man like like that air tattoo is pretty gutsy, I'd say. Even though Tatsu, uh, you know, Tatsumaki's pretty good on uh, Hawk in general, it's just like he, he had the clock and he had a pretty big life lead. What you don't want is things to, you don't want it to fall uh, fall apart like, uh, you know, when you find out you're being uh, incepted, dream starts falling apart. You don't want that. Oh, one Miss Dragon, and now what's it gonna be? Ah, Chusho are you. Six seven. I told you guys, my prediction was ten eight. Either way, ten eight. I knew this was gonna be a close set. Unless suddenly Choshu wins the next three, and then I gotta eat my words. Nice stand strong. Choshu throwing out good jab DPs at ranges where... Whoa! Yo, Nagoyan video. Oh, and a Repa on the Condor. Or you can. That was nice. Oh, Daipi this time. Oh, gonna jump back on time. Tatsu's a little strong. How many reversals? He just built 3,000 points right there. And a miss sweep there. Ended up getting the <clears throat> funky kick. Nice walk up short, you. Wow. Choshu loves his jump shorts. Viper looking like Ned Flanders out here. Eat all them shorts. Walk up low forward. All right. Choshu taking a, a decent lead again, getting up to the eight. What happens when the oh my gosh. The urine channel what? Why are we? Come on. There's nothing wrong with my bladder anymore. I got to be honest about the lore, right? Shout out to uh, Terminator, uh, what was it, Dark Fate? Doesn't he sell drapes or something? Terminator lives on Drape Street. That's punished, put them grounded. Again, yo, I need to, I need to understand, like, what to look for visually to be able to get the punish on that. Because actually, that's actually really good if you can throw versus going for a DP every time. Like that kind of explains a lot. Oh, what an escape out of the corner! Yeah, it makes sense that Choshu's not uppercutting every condor dive because he's sitting at the range where. If Viper goes for those low condors, he's able to get a grab. And at the range where it's not going to be sure. Oh! Boom boom clap him. Yeah. More like a boom boom slam. Strong. <laughs> 
取れないと、えー、とそうですね、ここで、そう、9、nice. になっちゃうと、yeah, too far, uh, Choshu is too far for his own combo there. Ah, we get it too far. It's just out of range. Oh, nice. Crouch Fear is on to wake up low something. And another trade. Just need one more. Oh, and the reads. Ready for that. With the couple low forwards, he goes, you know what? Something's about to come out of this. Got the, got the little back jump. That's such a cool move. Like, there's no other character in Street Fighter that has that, right? Where you can jump in the air and while you're in the air, determine what you want to do. Apart from like, I guess Chun and Wa that have wall jump. Like none of these other characters have. Well, I guess there there's a Henry float, but I mean the Henry float's kind of whatever. But that's a dive kick, so Sim's dive kick doesn't really count. I right, find I guess there's a few characters that can move around in the Honda Honda float. Yeah. Yeah. Jump short, low forward, huddle. But this is what you want to see in a first to ten. You want to see both players like getting scrappy for for every round. Like we haven't really seen TODs. I think we saw one or two hawk rounds, but everything else was just kind of like this. Or like one person's about to get chipped out, but then they get jumped in. <laughs> Eat all them shorts. But then like you just get this big jump that, that leads to the victory. Nice. There goes a the fake meaty, baited it with the back jab. What's gonna happen this time? Again, but the Chu are you. He was looking for a jab dragon punch so he could punish it on the way down. A nice trade. Nice. Yeah, too far for a combo there. Goes for another helicopter anyway, and it pays off. Choshu now. Look at it make it odd on odd. 7 9. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's two in a row. What's it gonna be? The bait. Not. Oh, and another trade. And just got the boot to the face. 8 8. I told you guys this was gonna be a close set. Hachi Hachi this. Someone's about to just win the next two and then. And that's it, I guess. Then I'm, I'm the I'm the oracle of of this game. <laughs> then I'm the oracle. Oh, nice, clean sweep. Mm. Again. I'm definitely gonna ask Marcus about that. Like, yo, is this? Is that a Choshu special? I, I mean, you don't really see this match a whole ton, so I, I can't I can't really say. Nice. His Condor dive game is just too good. And I imagine if it's going to be a X Hawk, even better, because you would just do a normal throw. They can't soften it, or S Hawk rather. Excuse me. Nice. Good guard there. I would have been tempted to try to press, but <laughs> another walk up jab, sure you. Uh, Choshu definitely rewoke. Another fadeaway roundhouse. I went for a fadeaway roundhouse again. I'm jumped in. And. Oh! Oh, again! What the. That spacing! That spacing is ridiculous. I could win a free console. How about no? How about I don't even play games? 
Yeah, Old Hawk is definitely better, Guru Falcon. Like right there, that stand roundhouse losing a crouching light kick, that would not happen with Old Hawk. That's a free, big damage boot. Daike again. Goryu, Tatsu. And yeah, we backed off. That's a punish. Yeah. So if you try to hit the back of the head, but they guarded, they can punish with jump roundhouse or um Oh! Or if you're sure you are we gonna get a 10-8? Oh man. Not looking good for Viper here. That's a lot of damage on the table. Walk a blow forward to trade. He hasn't gotten a knockdown yet. And Choshu's fine with just guarding. He'll either guard or bash. Oh! Oh! Can he reach him on time? <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. Nice walk up level. Oh, yeah, this is the one chance right here. He needs some. Oh, Choshu with the blocks. Trying to whiff punish that stand roundhouse again. Choshu with more blocks. Oh, no whiff punish on the die. Ah, oh, the Mortal Kombat for the win. That was kind of smart, though. No need to take a risk. But yeah, score is 10 8. Pay out these predictions. That was a good match. A good way to start the morning too. That was a that was a hell of a set, and uh, I learned I learned a few things for sure. Like uh, like thinking about that. Knee, like I never thought about knee bashing with condor dives or being in a space where I can where I can wait there. You know, um, obviously Viper. Oh, 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 I'm not ready for these animations here. Congratulations, Chochu. But, um... Yeah, I mean, Viper played amazing that set as well. He had a couple clutch jump-ins, and he had that, like, walk-up. He had that walk-up 720. Oh, my goodness. Why oh, you got a cuss, too? Oh, let me get rid of this ad, and then we'll watch the, uh... If there's, a. Uh... <laughs> that was funny. He's like, oh yeah, Choshu wins, but it Ken's dead on the screen. So I won't be able to translate much, but... He's talking something about like the ability to block the cross up. I need to slow it down to really get it, but. もう全部全部ガード、全部ガードみたいな感じで。向こう分かってるのか信頼で、ひたすら無尺回ったら今度の今度の今度で。あれこいつ分かってるみたいな感じになって。あれ、あれ、まあまあリバーサーの精度も精
dang yeah uh, mid tiers is where it's at in this game mid mid low tier matches that are that are balanced those are those are hella fun to watch i mean the next one they're gonna go into top tier characters chun boxer but i don't know i don't know what to say about that one i feel like chun might just kind of steamroll but boxer after all does the highest damage in the game the fastest i don't think there's any other character who can damage as fast as him maybe old honda you know but good stuff um just a heads up next week uh retro three drops and we're gonna be doing uh so marcus and i we're gonna team up and do some kind of a, a stream for this so uh more more to come on that but i mean there'll be like there'll be like giveaways and stuff so if you want to get your hands on retro three uh which he's been teasing on the socials and we're listening to Retro 1 now, I think. <laughs> 1 or 2. This is Retro 2. But yeah, if you want to get the, the drop on this, you know, it's available now, of course. But yeah, we'll be doing a fun stream where we're doing ST stuff in, in Retro. So that'll be next week. And later this week, what do I have? I don't know. It's just the, the old ads of stuff. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Oh, I will get... um. Super Lore Boys, the YouTube thing. I'll, I'll get I'll get the rest of the Genesis events uh, uploaded soon as well. Um, I don't know what else. I guess I don't really see anyone streaming, so we'll just raid. Oh, Murasaki, what's up? <laughs> How's it going, Murasaki? We just watched. Um, where is it? We just watched uh, Viper versus Choshu. Oh, you want to see Special Champion Edition? There's no tournament for it, but we did upload. Yeah, Murasaki. I need to see Murasaki on a Kimono Michi. I'll be hype. Let me see Murasaki versus Matsun. Or Murasaki versus Makiri. That'll be hype. <laughs> but, um... Anyway, fellas, I guess... I guess we'll end up calling it here. I don't really see anyone from the FGC streaming. If anyone has any, um, anyone we can raid, let me know. And uh, catch you guys on the next one. Otherwise, peace out, fellas. You can just watch this. Watch this movie. <laughs>